Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on my Louis Vuitton Capucines Compact Wallet. I've noticed there aren't too many videos on YouTube on this wallet, so if anyone is interested in this wallet, hopefully this video can help you. So I'm going to be going through all of the features of this wallet in detail, including size, pricing, what varieties it comes in. And then I'm going to show you any wear and tear that I've noticed. I'm also going to be showing you a couple of wallets in my collection that are comparable to this wallet. So you can consider a couple of different options if you are looking for something of this size. And then I'll also show you how this wallet fits into some of the smaller bags in my collection. So you can sort of gauge for yourself whether this wallet will work for your handbags. If this is the first video of mine that you've come across, welcome. My name is Isabel. I'm so glad you're here. I do a lot of videos on luxury and fashion. So if you like these kinds of content I'd love it if you consider subscribing to my channel and if you end up liking this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I've had this wallet for about seven months now I've picked it up in February of this year at the same time that I bought my Louis Vuitton Neo Noé bag which is actually my everyday bag at the moment that bag I've actually ordered over the phone because the bag was sold out everywhere so I had gone on a wait list and when they called me I paid over the phone and I opted to go into store to pick the bag up when I went into the store to pick up the bag of course I can't just you know pick up the bag I had to have a little look around and the sales associate that helped me that day her name is Asiara from Sydney Maison store she was actually so helpful so I was actually looking at some of the Capucines bags I absolutely love those bags and it is definitely on my wish list so watch this space I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to pick it up because I've had a couple of detours I picked up a couple of different things this year I really wanted to get a Capucines bag at the end of this year but I'm not sure anymore whether I'm going to get it this year or next year so anyway I tried on all of the Capucines bags in all different sizes and I let Asia know that I probably won't get it now but I will definitely get one in the future and then she was actually showing me these Capucines wallets because we were looking at the bag Bags. and I wasn't planning on getting a wallet but when she showed me this one I fell in love with it it was like love at first sight I wasn't even sure what came over me but out of all of the Louis Vuitton wallets that I've seen I just thought this was the most luxurious one that I've seen and I really liked how thin it was and how much it actually could still fit so this wallet is actually in the compact size the Capucines wallet comes in two different sizes so this is the compact size and there is a larger size as well that one is actually quite big not only is it big but the full size Capucines wallet is quite thick as well so I definitely wasn't a fan of that one because I am not into really big wallets at the moment because I do carry a lot of mini bags so I thought this compact size was the perfect size for me so this compact size comes in three different colors at the moment it comes in the black leather and then it also comes in a really nice soft pink color that they call magnolia and then the other color that it comes in is the red color they are all really stunning they also come in sort of limited edition embellished versions so when I picked this one up they also had a black one like this but it had little decorative metal sort of stamps around the edges that one was beautiful too um, but I just wanted something really simple and classic so this is actually a full leather wallet it does say on the materials card that it is full cowhide leather so the outside and the inside the type of leather is a little bit different the leather on the exterior is a little bit textured so you can see the sort of grains in the leather and Louis Vuitton calls this leather Torolon I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it I take it that it is actually calfskin leather and it is treated in a certain way I'm not sure if anyone knows a bit more information about this type of leather um, I'd love to know so do leave them in the comments below if you do have more information but it is this really supple leather and I love the fact that it is really soft and luxurious and soft to touch but at the same time because of the graining it is actually quite resistant to scratches and things like that so it does work quite well and then it also has an LV plate and I really love this because it is not as loud as an all-over monogram but it does add you know that Louis Vuitton logo to the wallet then I'll open the wallet up now when you open it up the interior how amazing is this color so it is a deep fuchsia hot pink kind of color and I think that the interior color is what really sold me to this wallet I think it is such a nice vibrant color and although it is a black wallet it adds 
you know that pop of color to this otherwise sort of basic looking wallet and this really makes me happy every time I open this wallet and the interior leather is actually quite smooth so there's no graining or anything like that there is a Louis Vuitton stamping there in the gold and this wallet is actually made in France. So this wallet retails for 1,100 Australian dollars, which is actually quite steep for a wallet. But considering a lot of their canvas wallets are sort of eight, nine hundred dollars and some of them actually go over the thousand dollar mark, I don't think this is a bad price at all for something really luxurious. And the largest size I believe is around sixteen hundred dollar mark. In terms of size, this wallet measures 30 and a half centimeters across nine and a half centimeters from here to there and it is 1.5 centimeters in width and that's the other thing I really love about this wallet is how thin it is from the side it saves a lot of space in your smaller handbags a lot of the times when you look at a compact wallet they're actually small from the front but then when you turn around they're actually usually quite bulky and I just really love how thin this one lays and even when I have all my items in the wallet it is actually still quite thin. So this wallet has no exterior pockets at all but the interior fits quite a bit. So the wallet has eight credit card slots, four here and four here as well. The wallet also has two slip flat compartments so there's one there, there's another one here as well and then it's got one large bill compartment so you don't have to actually fold your bills and it's also got a zipped pocket for all your coins. I don't put any coins in here because I don't want this wallet to get dirty. But if you don't like carrying a separate coin purse, this will be really, really great. And this zipper is really, really smooth as well. I mean, Louis Vuitton zippers are really known for their smoothness, but this one is just really, really smooth. And the zipper pull is in gold hardware with no leather tabs, which I really like. It's also got the Louis Vuitton engraved on it as well. And I went ahead and filled this wallet with some cards. So I've got eight credit cards in there at the moment. And I've also put some bills in there. I put a couple of little rewards type cards in the little slip pockets here. And then there's one more thing I wanted to show you in the zip compartment here. If you don't actually house coins, you can actually fit credit cards or more rewards cards. So you can actually fit quite a few in there and it zips up perfectly. And I wanted to show you when the wallet is full and when I close it up, it's still quite slim, like I mentioned before. And that's what I absolutely really love about this wallet. Yeah, so I really wanted to show you how it looks when it's completely filled. Now onto the wear and tear. I've used this wallet consistently for the past seven months. I've switched out of it a few times, but because I love this wallet so much, I've actually used it probably for the most part of the seven months. And I am not exactly gentle with my items, so I usually just throw it in my bag and that sort of thing. But the exterior has no visible wear at all. So if you have a look here, the outside leather has no wear and tear at all that's visible. So let me turn it around. And if you have a look at the back side as well, really nothing that I can see. And then with the glazing as well, which is, you know, the black glue around the edges, there is no sort of glazing issues at all either. I think because this leather is so soft, the glazing doesn't really get stretched or strained when you're opening and closing the wallet. Because normally with canvas items, what I notice is that, you know, when you open and close, these little sort of bits that sort of move when you open and close, they are stress points on the item. And usually the glazing will crack around there, but because this is so soft, I really don't think there'll be too much issue there. The wear and tear on the inside, there are a couple of spots that I wanted to show you. So the first spot is this one here. So if you can see a little bit of the denting in there, that's actually from the zipper pull. So when you close the wallet, that zipper pull actually dents that part of the leather. And you can see a little bit of wear and tear there. And then the only other bit, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there is a little sort of tiny little dent there. And that's my own fault because when I'm in a rush paying for things, sometimes I don't close the wallet properly and I just in a hurry kind of do this. Obviously when I do that, this stud bit is going to push on the leather and that's where that mark is from. So if you are getting this wallet, just be careful not to do what I do. But it doesn't really bother me because it is on the inside and 
I am a little bit strange. I actually really like when my items look a little bit worn. I feel like when I see a little bit of, you know, little spots, I feel like it is my item and I've used it and loved it. Now onto a couple of comparisons. Obviously, these comparisons are with the items that I own in my own collection because if I'm comparing this wallet to something that I don't own and use, then I can't really give you a really good idea. But in my opinion, I think these two comparisons will really help you out because if you are considering purchasing a compact size wallet that's not too small, then I think these two other wallets are actually great options as well. So the first item that I'm gonna compare this wallet to is this Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. So so size comparison, they are similar in height, but the Victorine is a little bit smaller. So if you have a look at the length of the items, then you can see that the Capucine's wallet is a little bit longer, I'd say about a centimeter longer. The width is quite comparable as well, so you can see that they're both quite compact and thin and like I mentioned a million times already, I really like that. And then the Victorine wallet has a snap closure as well, but this time it's got leather covered button. When you open this up, it's a very similar construction. Oh, I love anything pink that's on the inside of wallets. Anyway, this makes me happy as well. But it is a very similar construction to the Capucine's wallet. It's got one big bill compartment. But with this wallet, you've got six credit card slots because it is a slightly more compact wallet. But it still has the two slip pockets here and here as well. And it's also got a little zipped compartment for all your coins. And for those of you who might be wondering, this one also fits credit cards but it is much more of a tight fit. So I think you can only have a couple in there. Whereas in the Capucine's wallet, because it is a little bit longer here, I think you can fit a few more. So in terms of price point, the Victorian wallet in the canvas is 670 Australian dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there's a bit of a price difference, but if you were to go for a full leather version in the Victorian wallet as well, it is closer to $900. So there's not a huge difference in cost. So in my opinion, if you're going to go canvas, I think the Victorine wallet is definitely the winner because it does still fit quite a similar amount to the Capucine's wallet but it is much lower in price point. But if you're gonna go for the leather version, the price difference isn't quite enough. So I definitely go for this one because it does fit that little bit more. For extra $200, I just feel like this one just looks a lot more luxurious. And I absolutely love the contrast interior as well. So um, that was a mini little comparison between these two. And then the next little comparison that I'm gonna show you is between this Capucine's wallet and the Chanel small wallet. So this one, one here is the compact version of Chanel classic wallets and I got this wallet to match my jumbo bag and I really really love this one as well. This one retails for $11.20 so $20 more than this wallet so they're pretty much the same price. But between these two, I actually really, really prefer the Capucine's wallet, mainly because, so when you look at the width, when they're empty, they look quite similar. But when you fill up this Chanel wallet, it becomes quite bulky. And then the other thing is the card slots are actually facing sort of this way. So the cards go in this way instead of vertically, like in the Capucine's wallet. And I find that this way, the vertical way, is a lot easier to sort of put your card in and out, especially on this side where the flap is. I feel like when I'm trying to get a card out from one of these slots, this flap keeps sort of um, falling on it and it's really quite difficult to sort of get your card in and out of this side. And this wallet, the leather is a lot stiffer, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be more sturdy. So for those couple of reasons, I really do prefer the Capucine's wallet over the Chanel wallet, but the Chanel, I mean, it is really beautiful. And when you are using a smaller bag and the mouth opening is a little bit small on the bag, I mean, the Chanel wallet is better because it is a little bit narrower, as you can see. Yeah, so that's probably the only pro of the Chanel wallet over the Capucine's wallet. But I think with these two, it really comes down to your personal preference, whether you really love the look of the Quilted Chanel leather, um, or if you like the sleek look of the Louis Vuitton leather. And finally, I'm gonna show you how this wallet fits in some of the smallest bags in my collection. So I've got four bags here with me. So first up is my Chanel Square Mini. So this is probably the smallest bag in my collection. And the wallet actually fits quite well. 
it takes up pretty much you know half of its space but I think that it is still a good fit and you can still fit your phone in there so that is a tick. Next up is my Chanel rectangular mini bag and I think this will just fit with no problem because it is a little bit longer than the square mini and when I put it in this one fits perfectly and there'll be no problem. I can still fit my phone in there and I think I can put a couple of little things like my car key and a lip gloss as well. So that's all I really need. So that's definitely a good fit. The third one is my Gucci Marmont mini bag in the camera style. This bag has a slightly smaller mouth opening. So because it is a zipper opening, I feel like you do need to be a little bit careful. I mean, it does fit beautifully and you can obviously fit a few more items in there, but I feel like you'd have to be quite careful because when you're putting this in, the zipper will scratch on the wallet. So I think you do need to be a little bit careful there. And finally, I know this wallet is gonna fit perfectly, but this is the smallest Louis Vuitton bag that I have in my collection. And this is the Alma BB in epi leather in the color Coquelicot. I absolutely love this color, but it does fit perfectly. And for the sake of showing you a small Louis Vuitton bag, this is the smallest bag and it fits in perfectly. So that does it for my review on this beautiful Capucines wallet. If you've got any other questions on this wallet, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you've got any questions on any of the other items I showed you in this video, like the other wallets or the mini bags, also leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and spending some time with me. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!